So the number one barrier to achieving simplicity, and this is interesting, is interesting is it's uh, lack of self awareness. Hmm. That's the one of the main barriers of simplicity, and it's understanding. <clears throat> so having the courage to to eliminate all the unnecessary things mm -hmm. that don't add value to you so that you actually have time to focus on the important things. Oh yeah. Starve your distractions. Anytime that I've been in the sales, sales slump, what I found is distractions just start creeping in out of nowhere. Uh, more distractions than normal. Because when you're in a sales slump, you're typically not so enthusiastic about going through that sales process and that sales cycle. And so you're almost looking for things to come in and distract you and looking for things to feel productive. There's this feeling of, of being productive that's so, uh, it feels so good when you're in a slump when you can leave the, at the end of the day and know that, man, I got a bunch of stuff done today. I did a bunch of stuff. I was super busy. It can feel good, but you have to understand that that is a false feeling. That is when, you know, there's no contingency plan, when failure is not an option in, in the addition of these activities, that you become grossly aware of those little pockets of time where you're just wasting precious minutes. And I say precious minutes because it's in those minutes that add up over time and all of a sudden you look back and you've got an hour, two hours, three hours of your day that are completely wasted. And so at this point in this 75 hard journey, like I've gotten to the point where I just completely disrespect distractions. Just absolute dis disrespect for distractions. So like in our everyday lives, there's you know so many things going on. And it takes deliberate action to eliminate the things that don't matter. And to, to eliminate the things to where your life is simple, to where you know, when I get up today, I have to do these things. And if I do these things, then it will propel me towards my ultimate goal that, I'm, that I'm going to achieve. But what we do is we insert all of these other Busy. extraneous, just activities and things that don't really get you to there, mm -hmm. but they make you feel accomplished because you did a whole lot. But it's having the, the awareness uh, to realize that, okay, what I'm doing right now really isn't getting me towards where I want to go. And having the courage to eliminate those things to focus on what you're supposed to be doing. And a lot of people do that because the things that they're supposed to be doing may not be fun, right. may not be easy, they may be difficult, they may take, um, you know, time and, and effort. But those seven minutes, those five minutes, those three minutes here, this this random meaningless conversation with this person here, this argument over here, this uh, time scrolling through social media here, this, you know, all this stuff added up over the course of a day amounts to hours. And guys, that stuff is robbing you of your capacity. And it's robbing you of your um, peace and happiness. Because we all, you know, everyone's talking about balance. And they're talking about, man, I just, if I, if I only had the time, if I only had the time, if I only had the time, I'm here to tell you that you have the time, you're just wasting so much of it. And you're not wasting it in hour long chunks, you're wasting it in three to seven minute intervals. 